All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Michael Plummer. I'm back here at Pro Am Racing. I'm going to show you guys something today. I'm going to show you the quality of a voltage signal for a uh, slot style meter, tonsil, and a Pro M80. All right, everybody, what you're seeing and going across this screen right now is the, uh, <coughs> the voltage signal. The voltage signal of a slot style meter. Okay. Give you a good look at that. What you're seeing is the, the voltage jumping around a bit. Uh, that's representing the uh, the voltage output of the uh, slot style meter. Uh, I don't want anybody to think that that's a bad signal, even though it's jumping around. It's not. Uh, slot style sensor is a good sensor. If it wasn't, we wouldn't sell it, and Ford wouldn't have used it either. But this is just for comparison's sake. We're going to show you. Uh, Next, we're going to show you a regular old Pro M bullet with the older style Tonsil sensor. All right, so this is our baseline then. Yep. All right, everybody. So just remember all those little peaks and valleys there. Okay. Now that we have on the uh, flow bench a um, 75 millimeter bullet, let's take a look. Let's see what it's doing. Is this the like in terms of quality, or is the bullet the worst? It's the, the cheapest. It's the cheapest? It's the cheapest, yeah. From a design standpoint, the sensor itself is packaged differently, but the electronics are the same, the way it works is the same, the way it handles reversion is the same. There's really no significant difference between the two designs. Uh, and there's really not much difference in the quality of the signal either, as you can see. I, I, all right, so this has a tonsil-style mass right. air meter in it. That's right. So I would say the quality of that signal is slightly better than the slot. Why is that? Because um, I'll be honest with you, I don't see many peaks and valleys. It's 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 certainly averaged a little better. There's not quite so many high spots and quite so many low spots. It's not a perfect line, but it's a little better than the slot. Um, it really just has to do with the way the airflow passes through the tonsil. There's okay. two different design tonsils. Again, the you know the the claim is that the slot style sensor produces a better signal because it's a better design. That's completely untrue, as you can see here. It's, it's very similar, again, if, if anything, this one's actually a little bit better. Yeah. So, and this is the, uh, I have in my car a tonsil style mass air meter, right? Yep, this is what you have. I have a Pro Tube. A Pro Tube or no? What yes, yes, exactly. Yep. Same sensor in the Pro Tube. All right, guys, there it is. Um, next we're gonna put up, what are we gonna put on next? Pro M80. And the Pro M80 should be better than this. Oh, you bet, you'll see. All right, here's a Pro M77. I'm sorry, 80. And I'm going to show you it without a filter first. All right, this is it without a filter. Again, no filter. Now we're going to put a filter on it. We're not even going to bolt it down. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look. It's almost disappearing behind the line on the graph. You guys so see that? Cool. You can barely see it. Did you see that? It's right above airflow. There's no ripple, no nothing. That's a Pro M, what, 88? 80? Pro M 80. And by the way, that is the oldest mass air meter element ever made. That is the original design. Is that so the one that samples 360 degrees around? That's a product of the housing. But All right, so Chris, why is this thing so straight? It really has to do with the design of the housing. The uh, Again, the electronics in the mass airflow sensors themselves really have not changed since the beginning of time. So to say that, you know, this sensor is better than that sensor is really completely untrue. It really has more to do with the design of the housing and the mass airflow meter's environment. Um, we're going to show you next how this housing deals with reversion as compared to the uh, tonsil style and the slot style. And uh, I'll demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about. Excellent. Thank you.